Very good morning, my friends. How are you? Hope you guys are doing very well and welcome on this new midweek analysis video from Extreme Trader. This is Salah speaking. So we have to take a look at the signals that I have sent from the last week and let's see what happened in the market so far. And of course, as usual, we will start with the Euro USD. All right. So as we can see, the Euro USD signal so far is going in a profit. But however, um, after seeing the price action and seeing what's going on with the DXY currency uh, index, I believe that the Euro USD right now is about to continue the rise. So therefore, the signal of the Euro USD, we will have to change it, if I'm not mistaken, and really hope I'm, I'm doing the right, right thing here. Uh, we need to cancel the, the, the previous signal. And we need to pay attention to what's happening right now to the Euro USD. So if we look at the pattern, we can see that the pair is really respecting the support on the level 1,000 to 1,021,000. That support has been respected so many times on the Euro USD, and as we can see, even when the pair has made an attempt to break out from that level, the pair has immediately made the comeback and immediately rose above that support level. And later on, the pair has made several attempts until I see actually this engulfing candle. This is very interesting candle. The pair has actually made an attempt here to break out from the support level. However, uh, after all these attempts, we have we have seen right here a full bar candle on the very same level of the support. Even the next candle right now is actually going to uh, gonna be another full bar. That means that the pair is actually going to continue the rise right from that point, and the signal of the Euro USD is going to be changed for the buy. So hopefully, I'm not wrong. The level that the, the level that we are actually going to start buying the Euro USD is going to be right here. Let me just write it for you. Um, buy the euro. Oh, sorry, sorry, sorry about that. Uh, buy the euro USD at the level one point two one zero six eight, and this time the save. Let me just first decide the target. So actually, I believe that the euro USD is gonna be able to make the break out from that long term resistance on one point two one seven six nine. Now, that being said, we need to look at the daily candles to find the next target where we can actu gonna actually aim uh, after buying the pair. Now, if we look here at the pattern on the daily candles, we can see right here we had that previous support level. And it seems like with the strong bullish momentum on the EURUSD that the pair is actually gonna continue the rise like that until it hit the same level of the previous support. So that being said also, that means we are actually looking for almost 104 and 104 pips of profit hopefully also we will make them all so the euro usd take profit level is gonna be 1.2067 now of course i have to explain to you that we have always to go along with the market how it goes we will go along with it so i have sent the signal to start shorting the pair uh, last uh, week however what we have seen right now on the pair is actually changing everything and we have to go along with it that's why I had to change the signal direction. And of course, right now, the safe zone is going to be ranging until it hit that lowest support level right there. So the safe zone should be ranging for almost 48 pips, which is really fine enough and uh, fair enough. And just like that. So there goes your signal for this midweek analysis video for the Euro USD. And I really hope it will be the right decision to make and hopefully we'll make some good profits out of it. Let's take a look at the pound USD. So, of course, um, the pound USD on the opening on Monday has made this strong, this huge, the huge uh, fall right here. As we can see, the pair has fallen for almost 207 pips immediately. And right now, right after the, this fall, the pair has immediately made the correction. And let me just show you this. Even after all this huge drop right here, the correction. We can see right here that the correction has happened and the pair has missed four attempts, actually four attempts to break out from that long term support level. So the pair right now has actually finished the uh, fall moment uh, or so the, the, bear, the bearish pullback and right now is going to continue the rise. If you remember from my friends from the last week uh, video, I have said that this is going to be the pullback week. And seems like the the pound USD actually has already finished the 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 the, uh, the pullback. So therefore, what we are going to do right now with the with the pound USD, actually we're gonna change the signal this time for the buy. Now the question is where we can start buying the pair. The safest option actually is gonna be right here from that support level, exactly from the level one point double three four three six. However, 
if you're gonna go ahead and start buying the pound usd right now immediately i think it's gonna it's not gonna be a bad idea however you have to prepare for a few uh drops before gonna be in profit so anyway i'm gonna actually select the safest option possible for uh buying the pair and let's just uh, be ready for another pullbacks to happen so i'm just looking right here let me go to the one hour time frame i just want to be sure i'm giving you the best signal possible my friends and i believe yes definitely yes right right and let me just do a few things just to be sure correct all right so the best level to start buying the pound usd is gonna be the level 1.3452 and this time the safe zone is going to be ranging until i think if i'm not mistaken that lower support support level right there so the safe zone should be ranging for almost 56 pips just like that that is going to be the safe zone yeah you just like to make it full and the target of course is going to be the peak of the resistance right here on 1.34936 let's just try the targets so the take profit level is going to be 1.34 nine three eight so we are gonna aim right now actually 147 pips of profit hopefully guys really will make them all and we'll make some good profits out of the signal of the pound usd now let's look at the aud usd actually when i started recording the aud usd was below my entry level however the pair was actually going in a profit of almost 30 pips i would say however uh, right now the the reversal has started and right now we are gonna have to change the signal of the AUD UST to be a buy signal as you can see my friends we have right here that pre uh, previous resistance that resistance has been already has been already retested oh by the way um that was the that was the candle where the pair actually has started to fall not there so i think the signal was going in almost 59 or 60 pips of profit not 30 Anyway, either way, it was a good signal. However, uh, the, the reversal has just started right now and we're going to change the signal from uh, the sell to be the buy. Now, let's go to the one hour time frame so we can know exactly where we can start buying the AUD USD again. And to find the best levels to start buying a, a, a rising pattern or a rising pair is to look at the past to find the previous resistance and support. So as we can see, the pair right now here is rising. And if we draw here a uh, support trend line, we can see that the pair is actually respecting that res uh, support trend line and it's just climbing based on it. However, looking right here, we can see that we had a previous resistance, which has maybe you can see that this was a small resistance. However, if you look at the future, we can see later on this very same level of the resistance has become a strong strong support level so many times and the pair is not actually able to break out of it that means we can have expect a reversal from the AUD USD right here on that resistance to retest that broken resistance right here again one more time and then from that point the AUD USD is going to be good for the buy and it's going to actually continue the rise that being said AUD USD should be good for the buy uh, 0 0.74180 and let me just delete this line right here oh shit um 74180 yes right there and the uh, safe zone i would say until this previous support level is gonna be uh fair enough oh my god oh oh shit yeah we are on the one hour time frame that's why all right Maybe right here, fair, fair enough, yes. 40 pips only, yes, that's really fair enough. There is no need to, absolutely no need to keep it running more than that. So that's uh, the safe zone for the um, buy order for this uh, AUD USD. And let's just try the target levels. Now, looking at the daily candles, we can expect from the pair to actually continue the rise, as I said before, uh, until it hit that previous resistance level. So therefore, that's actually going to be our target this time and actually i'm looking for the line right here so the tech profit for the aod usd is gonna be zero zero point actually guys i cannot see the keyboard for some reason because the microphone is right in front of my mouth um tech profit is zero point seven four eight double zero hopefully also it will work uh, out uh, well for us and bring us good profits let's right now look at the usd cad 
So the USD CAT signal, if I'm not mistaken, has almost been triggered. Uh, I think the pair has reversed just two pips before uh, entering my uh, buy level. However, uh, the pair, if I'm not mistaken, the pair is running so far. Uh, it was in actually 58 pips of, of profit. Right now, it's running in 35 pips of profit. Now, what's going to happen next with the USD CAD? I believe the pair has changed the direction. It's no longer making any pullbacks. And I believe that the USD CAD is actually going to continue the fall. Therefore, we're going to have to change the signal of the USD CAD this time. And it's going to be, of course, for the short. And let me just look here right now at the daily candles and see what's going to happen next. So, if I'm not mistaken, USD CAD should be good for the sell right away. Actually, there is no other level uh, which is really good to wait uh, to start sh sh shorting the pair. We're going to have to short it right now. So let's go to the four hour time frame. And let me just tell you that we can start selling the uh, USD CAD exactly from the current price right here. Sell right now on the level 1.2037. Okay, that means I have to pause this video very quickly because I don't want anyone to miss the signal. I really think it's going to be a good one. And the safe zone is going to be ranging until the top of that previous support level. So it's going to be ranging for almost 47 pips, which is really fair enough as well. So let me draw for you the shape. Just like that. And for the target, we have to go back to the daily candles and zoom out somehow. And we, look, we need to look at the lowest level of the support on this pattern. So if, I, if I'm not mistaken... Uh, the pair is actually going to continue the fall until it hit the lowest level of the support. And by the way, I'm looking right here. And also I'm comparing on the left to find that this was a strong support level as well in the past. So actually, indeed, it was really a strong support level. So therefore, we are actually looking to, to actually get... Um, where is the line? I, I, yeah, something something wrong. I have drawn right here a line and it's missing. Where is it? All right. Anyway, the line is right here. And let's go back to the daily candle. Yeah, just like that. So we are actually going to aim about almost 50 pips also. Well, it is what it is. Uh, I cannot change anything. Sorry, that is the signal. Uh, that is what the setup is giving us. So therefore, it's going to be a 50-50. And the stop loss is almost the same as the take profit level, but what can I do? It's a midweek analysis, and I really hope uh, this signal is going to work out well for us and bring us some profits. By the way, I forgot to write the take profit level, which is going to be 1.27483. Really, hopefully, it will be a good signal, and we will make good profits out of this signal, my friends. Now, looking at the USD GPY. Regarding USDGPY, nothing has changed yet. I believe that the USDGPY is still going to continue the fall and the signal is going to remain as it is. Um, the signal hasn't been triggered yet and I believe that the pair is right now in a uh, rising uh, position. So therefore, I believe that the pair is actually, uh, depending on that support level right there, is actually going to continue the rise and eventually is going to hit our target level uh, sorry our entry point so therefore usd gpy signal remains the same without any changes and let's see what will going to happen usd chf usd chf right now actually has also changed the, the direction um the pair was going in almost 32 pips of profit however um, after, uh, as, as, as I said before, my friends, uh, the pair or actually the, the dollar has changed the, the, uh, the direction. It's no more rising. It's falling right now. So therefore we have to go along with it. And therefore we're going to have to change the signal of the USDC HF right now. It's no longer a short, uh, sorry, a buy signal. It's right now a short one. So let me just delete the previous signal. And let's see where actually we can start shorting the USD CHF. Now, by looking at this pattern right here, we can see that we had here, let me just show you, on the weekly candle, sadly, we're going to have to depend on the weekly candle. So, shit. Right here, I'm looking right here, guys, at the previous support level right here and the current price. One second. So by looking at this pattern right now, we can see right here that we had here a previous support level and the USDCHF right now is actually breaking out of it. And if I'm not mistaken, actually, the pair is actually going to continue the fall until it hit the strong support level 
the strong key support level on 0.87952. Remember, we are analyzing right now on the weekly candles. So hopefully we are looking for almost 100 pips profit from this trade. So we need to look at uh, the USDCHF again right now after identifying the targets. Uh, let's look at if this is going to be a valid entry. So let's go right here on the current candles. Now what we can see right here that the pair has met several, th these two candles right here, these representing the attempt of a bullish reversal and it seems like the bearish or sorry the, the 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 bears are actually controlling the market and pushing it down and that can be seen actually by this candle right here the candle has opened as a bearish candle and remember we are on the daily candles so let's go back to the four hour time frame and we can see the strong bearish momentum it's no doubt that the bearish momentum is much stronger for the ustchf and therefore um if we need to find the best level to start shorting the pair, we're gonna just hope for a, a small reversal right here, I think. 10 pips only. I believe the USDCHF should be good for the short right now. And even, even if there was somehow a pullback, it's not gonna last for more than 10, 17 pips maximum. However, I believe it's not worth it. So we can actually start shorting the USDCHF right away. So the signal is gonna be changed for the short right now sell now on 0 0.8809 and the target is going to be actually ranging until the previous support level right here that is the previous support level that's going to be our safe zone uh, area so we are looking for oh shit no way no way it's enough here yes i mean i'm just going to the maximum safety option but however it's not l let's just be realistic here that is not really going to happen. So therefore, I'm going to change the uh, safe zone to be right here at the peak of the resistance on 0 0.89382. So therefore, uh, that's going to be the safe zone right here. Exactly like that. And the target, as I said before, is going to be the lowest support level right here. Let me just try it for you. Uh, take profit level is going to be um, 0 0.89382. 87952 let me just be sure this is the level right uh, let me just be sure uh, yes exactly so, yeah so this is going to be our signal for the USDCHF and hopefully also it will work for us and bring us some good profits let's take a look at the gold right now so for the gold signal, oh my god, the pair has moved very fast. Actually, the gold has reversed just, I think, 20 or 30 pips. Yeah, 30 pips before my entry and shoot up for 532 pips of profit. And sadly, my, my buy order hasn't been triggered. However, the gold is going to continue the rise, if I'm not mistaken. And the take profit level is going to remain the same. However, we need to look at the best level to start buying the gold again. And if I'm not mistaken... It's going to be exactly right here from that previous support level. And as you can see, I'm talking fast because I need to upload this video quickly and post it quickly. So nobody going to lose the signal. I believe it's going to be a very good signal. And the gold is actually going to continue the rise right off it. Right from there, I mean, sorry. So we, the gold should be good for the buy at the level 1856.86. As you can see, it's going to depend on that previous support level. However, the safe zone is going to be ranging until the level of that previous sub resistance right here. If the pair hasn't reversed exactly from the level I have mentioned, there is a big chance that it's going actually going to continue the fall until it hit that previous resist resistance. And then from that point, it's going to continue the rise. I believe the gold is going to really continue the rise until it hit that previous resistance. Then from that point, we're going to see what will going to happen. Most likely... If I'm not mistaken, uh, by next week, the, the gold is going to continue the rise uh, all the way. Actually, it's going to break out from that resistance. And once it hit that previous resistance right here on 1912, that's going to be the level where, where we're actually going to short the gold. Until then, we are going to hold the buy orders. So the gold, as I said, is going to be uh, good for the buy right here. And this is the safe zone, just like that. So... We are actually going to aim another 370 pips of profit from the gold. Hopefully, we will make them all. So, 
there goes your signals for the, this midweek analysis and i really hope it's going to be a very profitable week and everyone will entertain some good profits out of these signals so until then i hope that was informative to you and i would like to thank you for watching